Today we have on the bench a one and a half horsepower replacement motor for an above ground pool pump. And one of the changes um, that have come along is these motors now come wired for 230 volt or high volt. And in many cases, above ground pumps need only 115. So in our last couple of videos, we talked about matching the power coming into the pump to what the pump needs. So what we would want to do here is, this motor here, if you purchase a replacement motor, is set up for 230. You could very well have 115 current coming in. As we noted, many above ground motors are simply 115. So what we would need to do is change the <clears throat> settings in the back of the motor to accept 115. You'll notice in the beginning of the video we showed you a wiring diagram and what we're going to do is using a pair of needle nose pliers just simply make the adjustment from, two from 230 to 115 by removing the white lead and jumping it down to number 6 and simply taking the brown lead and moving it right next to the orange lead as indicated by the wiring diagram on the motor itself. This motor is now set to receive 115. Green would be ground and black and white could simply be mounted where your screw is here and up on the top. Those would be the leads supplying the power to the motor here and here and green going to ground. Once again, you could use a voltmeter if you didn't know or you didn't trust the, uh, the old motor. You could simply put volt, a voltmeter on the wires coming in and test them on the supplying power to see if you have 115 or 230. Thank you.